For example, today, as many of you know, there are computers that play chess and play very well. Most of those computers do not play in the same way that humans play. Most of those computers use the speed of the computer to examine millions, literally millions, nearly a billion possible moves ahead and branches uh, on the uh, decisions that you have to make on a, uh, in a, a chess uh, game. We know from laboratory experiments that a human being, even a grandmaster, Kasparov, might use, might look at a hundred branches of these moves, these possible moves ahead. Not billions, not even millions, a hundred perhaps. So clearly, Kasparov, even if uh, a computer program like Deep Blue can play strongly against him, uh, clearly Kasparov is doing something differently when he's de deciding on a chess move than the computer Deep Blue is. However, one can also program a computer to play chess in a more humanoid way. That is, one can program a computer so that instead of looking at a billion possibilities and selecting what it thinks is the best, uh, it looks very selectively at only a few possibilities, maybe as many as a hundred as a chess grandmaster might, uh, and by using various cues, by using knowledge about what's important on the chessboard, is able to select pretty good moves. Now, there are programs like that. None of them are as good as Deep Blue. None of them can challenge Kasparov yet. But they illustrate the principles about how human chess players go about selecting their moves without the ability to look at billions of things as a computer can. 